Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some crazy cool technology that maybe some of you have experienced in the dental clinic. Uh, a lot of dental clinics now are uh, bringing these types of uh, machines into the clinics in order to do all kinds of things. Mostly the start was impressions, but now we're using them for so many other things. So I want to share that with you. I want to uh, explain how we use it to give you better health care and also help you track and explain things to you but really help allow you to be part of the decision making when we're helping to decide whether or not you need treatment so if you'd like to hear more about that let's get started So what is this technology? Well, it, this technology has been around for a number of years. It originally started with the need for dentists to have more precise impressions and also impressions where we didn't gag the patient. As we know, we're all going more and more to a digital technology. Our phones are different than they were five or 10 years ago. Our computers, everything is going digital. And so why not dentistry? Dentistry is really moving rapidly and a lot of dentists it's, are even finding it difficult to keep up. Uh, the, the technology though, the most basic form of the technology is basically a digital video of your mouth, uh, a number of series of, of images that are taken rapid succession with the light and a little wand and it's just a little piece of little thing that goes in your mouth and the assistant moves it around or the dentist and when it's done it takes about anywhere from two to five minutes usually. Uh, and when they're all done, there's going to be an image on the screen. As you see, we are going to be uh, then looking at that image. We can take one arch off and show both arches together. We can show from different sides. But basically, in color, in the true, like pretty much true color of what, what we see in the mouth, or we can do uh, like a black and white or a kind of a white schemed uh, version of it. But, but basically, it is, it is a real true rendering of your mouth. Uh, most of the soft tissues, all of the hard tissues, which are the teeth, of course, and the bony structures but it really allows us to capture you in time and in a very accurate way so this is something is like a file becomes a file uh, that then can be saved in the cloud as a patient i believe that this is transforming the patient experience uh, patients are having impressions in today's world of this technology not ever having anything goopy in their mouth that is helping causing you to gag. If many of you ever remembered having impressions before, they were, you know, this gooey material. We hope it's set before you gagged, uh, or, you know, worse. And we really uh, wanted to get that accuracy. So we would keep it in your mouth, keep it in your mouth. This type of scan, so just taking this video in your mouth is so easy for you as a patient. You barely notice that anything's happening. It is just easy to just move your cheeks out of the way. We can stop, take it out, give you breaks. And this way, you've had a very comfortable experience having anything from an impression, let's say you need an impression for a crown or many crowns, or you need impressions for orthodontics uh, as Invisalign, or in the case that we use in this clinic, which I'm gonna dive deeper into, which is how we use it from, uh, from when you have your examinations and you have your regular checkups. And this is where the technology is really exploding because again, we don't want to just use it from a clinical perspective. We want to use it as an educational tool to really help you feel like you understand what's going on. Um, just to jump ahead, there is a really exceptional part of this with when we come talk about uh, the iTero is the, I think the world's leading scanner in this uh, realm right now, is uh, where we actually can track the progress or track changes in your mouth over time. So if you think back to your dentist, you come into to the clinic, your dentist does your checkup and he says, yep, nothing's really changed since last time, everything looks good. Okay, I'm a dentist and I have a pretty good memory, although that can be debated sometimes. Um, but I still don't always perfectly remember that maybe the recession was like half a millimeter less than it is today, or maybe there's a slight more redness in some tissues, or maybe there's something else happening. I may not catch that. But the great thing about this iTero is that we can, once we've taken the scan and we take a follow-up one, so what we're doing in our clinic now is we're taking them every time you come in for your checkup, which could be every six months or a year, and we can put them together and we can, as the machine or the, the iTero will actually 
put them together in a series and allow us to specifically zone in on certain areas. If we start to see that the gum tissue is like lowering, then and it's red or yellow because red means the most change, yellow means a little bit of change and white means no change. We're seeing that we can confidently tell you that you know what your recession's getting worse or something's happening here that we need to investigate further and as a patient I would think that that makes you feel much better knowing that uh, we've had an objective analysis of your mouth that not only did we capture perfectly what you were like a year ago but we've also then shown you and you can see with your own eyes that there is something happening here and then you get to make the choice whether or not it's something you want to do for your health so that is one of my favorite parts of the itero and the the what we're calling now we're coining it uh, oral health monitoring so we're using these machines like i said not just for impressions anymore they're no longer goopy if you do have to have them for that but if you are coming in on a regular basis we can also use them for um, you know tracking changes in your mouth and true changes measurable changes that are accurate and visible for you as a patient another great thing we can do with this uh, scanner is we can have if you've ever seen a topographic map or you've seen maps where there's different colors based on like the pressure or the height of different things in on a map or a 3d map we can do the same thing with your teeth and your mouth so this machine will allow us to highlight areas that maybe are of the highest peaks, the highest points, and the highest contact. So our two teeth touching more in one area than another area. We'll see all of that, and that's called an occlusogram. Occlusograms are wonderful because they allow us to help diagnose if there's some areas of your mouth that are receiving more pressure than others. And is that correlated then with things like recession or erosion or wear on your teeth? Uh, if that's the case, we can quickly diagnose this, help you see it, and also it gives us a guideline as to where do we need to move the teeth and and this gets into you know how Invisalign can help you with um, preventing wear and tear on your teeth but where can we move those teeth and where do we need to focus so that we correct correct this problem um, before too much more damage occurs okay so we're here with our patient Crystal can you say hi hi <laughs> Crystal is actually our DSD coordinator and Invisalign assistant so she's all kinds of amazing things including our demo today uh, I am moving my mask away from my mouth for the purpose of being able to hear me. So here we go. So then we're going to click the scanner button and this is a new fresh uh, tip and it's coming up. It just takes a few seconds for it to go and we're going to click the button. Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to click the button here. Is it going yet? There we go. Okay, can everybody see that? And so we're gonna start with, it's gonna ask me to go on the lower. So I'm gonna start by just easily putting this in the mouth and hopefully you can all see that. And in a very relaxed way, you can look at the screen here and you can start to see that the image that I'm seeing in the lower left is actually starting to come up in 3D. And you see Crystal's very relaxed and we're just sort of taking this multiple images and just carrying it around the whole mouth until we get all the way to the other side. I'm going to click the button once again and then the last thing that we do is we got to put your upper and lower teeth together so we want to be able to say how do these teeth fit together and that's where the occlusogram comes in so now we're going to get you to bite your teeth together and I'm going to gently kind of just sneak this in your cheek and you see over here in this lower left box where we really can see and I'm going to hit the button and I'm just going to kind of run it along and it shows the computer exactly how the teeth fit together going to now show both screens together. There. Oh, yeah. So the patient, what I find you as a patient, already you're more engaged in your treatment and in your uh, interest in what's going on in your mouth. You can see things like you've never seen them before and why not now start to be able to ask questions that may pertain to something that you're really concerned with. That you may have even forgotten about to ask 
um, and and really you know feel like you got something more out of the appointment than just you know being told everything's okay you know mm -hmm. you get to see it with your own eyes and so now we can see here we've really looking at both the arch remember I said the arch shape the arch width so she has a little bit of narrowness through her arch width and if we look at the lower arch as well we look here and we see wow you know there's a lot of recession mm -hmm. here and again I can quickly show you as a patient what I'm seeing and and there's no there's no um, denying it right now a year from now if you don't want to do anything about this right now a year from now we're going to take the same scan and we're going to put in a time-lapse video we can in when we're looking at this from an orthodontic standpoint or what we would like to do is we can actually simulate a future smile so we can actually show you what your future smile could look like with this machine as well and that's called the itero Stim simulator the last thing I want to show with this is the occlusogram and I want to show how we sh look at the contact points and like I said it, with any sort of um, uh, topographic map type pattern we see the highest peaks are the red where there's no clearance where the teeth are at the highest contact point and things that are not hitting as much more blue are uh, in the other areas so if you look here crystals t contacting very heavily on her back molar here and here not as much on this molar and then again uh, a little more favorably in the premolar area and then if we look at the upper jaw and again even crystal who's been doing this a long time right crystal you're still fascinated i, I you haven't taken your eyes off the screen and that's a natural thing you're not even doing it for the camera i know because you're just amazed that this is your mouth and you're getting to see things about your mouth that you didn't she didn't know before so i feel that this is really important and also, again, it shows me a lot about what I can do to help you, Crystal, and then what we can do uh, for long term as far as tracking this recession. I hope that helps you understand uh, where dentistry is going and some of the technology that we now have in our dental clinics across the globe. I encourage you to, as a patient, ask more questions, help understand your own oral health, and get to see videos and pictures of your mouth that maybe you wouldn't have had a chance to do before. Uh, for example, like I said, the iTero is just an incredible tool that allows your dentist to track your mouth over time and give you the opportunity to uh, understand, help make us help us make decisions for you and really protect you in the long run. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and otherwise I will see you next time. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Out. <laughs>